something came to my mind and I think it is important for me to speak about this. You may have done a person wrong. You may have really hurt that person's feelings. You may have apologized to that person. I am sorry. I was angry and what I did, it is very bad and I am sorry. So you may believe in your mind since you have apologized the person that you have wronged should get over it like very quickly. Let's say you burned down a person's home and let's say that person had $20,000 stored in their home and when you burnt down their home, that money got destroyed. Pretty much, it got burnt up. You may have apologized. I am sorry. Don't hate me. Blah, 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 blah. And you may believe in your mind, hey, I have apologized and that person should be over it right now. Like, they should not be mad at me. They should still allow me around them. They should still, what word can I use? They should still give me, like they shouldn't give me any restrictions. They should allow me to do whatever as I have always done even though I have done something evil to them. Some people, some people may have that mind frame. Yes, I cussed you out. Yes, I told many people that you are evil and wicked. Yes, I lied on you. Yes, I carried your name among people. And now many people are treating you very badly. Yes, I made, I made your life a living hell, but I apologized. And since I apologized, you should allow me over your new home. You should serve me tea. We should be friends like we always have been. Even though I have done so much evil to you, some people, I believe some people, think in that manner. What if, now to people who think in that way, if there are people who think in that way, what if someone would do the same to you? Would you be able to quickly, yeah, come over my new house? Yes, let me serve you some Kool-Aid and some strawberries or whatever. Let me introduce you to my fam, like, to my family. What are you thinking? If it was you, you would probably have a grudge. And I think some people like that, man. I think many people like that, they have this, I apologized, so you should be over it mentality. I think people like that are usually the ones who hold on to grudges, who I truly believe so. I believe those people are usually the ones that have so much unforgiveness and hatred within them. 
So you want me to quickly get over it while if I were to do something to you, you you would probably bring it up so many times and give me an evil look and tell other people about how evil I am. So you want me to be something that you aren't. Look now. I want to say this and maybe I am wrong, but I don't think I am wrong. If you burnt down my house, cut my tires on my car, break my windows in my car, slap my wife, which I am not married, for an example or instance, I guess, Let's say you do all of this. Now, I can forgive you, right? But I don't have to allow you to come to my house again, right? I don't have to allow you to come near my wife. After you slapped my wife, you may have told me sorry, but I don't have to allow you near my wife i think some people believe if you forgive a person you should give them the same allowances i guess i can say as they had before which i don't believe that is true because i believe forgiveness is in the heart just because I allow you to do the same things as you have done before in action doesn't show that I have forgiven you. I could still hate you and allow you to speak to me. I can still hate you and buy you a cup of coffee, right? By me allowing you to do something that you have done before doesn't mean I have forgiven you. Back in my past, I used to work with some people, certain people, I should say, and I think many of us hated each other, but we cooperated, in a sense, to get things done. So, because I was working with my enemy, does that mean I forgave him? Absolutely not. I tell you what, and I don't believe I am wrong about this. If someone burnt my house down and I get a new house, and if that person came to my new house and asked me to come in, I would probably call the police on that person. Well, the first time, probably too. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? If you do really evil things to a person, let me say this, man. You know, this should be common sense, but I think some people have some type of mind thing to where they think more about themselves than the feelings of other people. I don't know what that is called. Anyways, maybe narcissism or I'm not all the way sure. I have no idea. But if you do something really evil to a person, yes, apologize. But don't have it in your head that you should have the same allowances. As if nothing happened. Like, let me cuss you out. Let me punch you in the stomach. Let me lie on you and let me come to you, apologize, and want things to go exactly back to how things were before I mistreated you. Uh, you know, this should be kind of common sense, but 
I guess common sense is not so common, which I am not saying I am so smart, but stuff like this, come on now. If you really wrong someone, you may need to stay away from them. Give them time to think. Give them time to get over it. Because how long do you hold on to grudges? How long do you hold on to unforgiveness? If you really wrong the person, they may not even want to talk to you. They may not even want to see you for a while or whatever. Give them time. And don't be like, <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. And if a person is not willing to talk with you after you have wronged them, don't go around and tell people that they are selfish and they are hateful. And I think what some people like that do, they may go around and tell people not everything that they have done to a person, but tell them like the really light things or a very limited light list of the bad things they have done to that person. And they may even try to make that person look so mean to you for not allowing you back into their life. And I think sometimes they try to make themselves look innocent and the victim look, you know, mean and unforgiving. Do you understand what I am trying to say? Like the person who has the mind issue, I guess I can say, will make the person they victimized look so mean and wicked for not forgiving them or allowing them to enter back into their life and the bad person or the person with the mind issue may make them self look like they are innocent and what they have done is very light and but if you were to tell a person everything that you have done to that victim the person you are telling may stay away from you look now i believe i am saying that correctly if you are that way for one you need to change. Who in the world wants to be around a person like that? Seriously. If you are that way and you may have excuses for being that way, you may tell me that you had a very bad past and you went to prison or your mother was mean to you or she was absent and stuff like that. Whatever reason you have, you need to change that. You can't go around doing really evil things and wanting that person to allow you back into their life. Now for myself, now, I am not saying I am used to people like that, but because of what I do, you know, I teach and I try to help people with things of God, I sometimes encounter people like that. And in, in a sense, so a person like me probably would be more accepting of people like that. But the average person, I don't think so. I think people like that, that are willing to accept people who behave in that way, I think they are very limited. So give your life to Jesus Christ you know, if you are that way, you may contact me and we can email each other and whatever else. 
but if you act in that way it really needs to change now let me stop here god bless you